Hello ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rattle Essence and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in, I really do appreciate it. And as you can tell from the package that I have here in front of me, today we're actually going to be doing an unboxing video. Uh, this is a package that I recently received from a company called Or Love Paris. I'm really excited to be talking about this brand on my channel. It's actually a brand new brand as far as distribution in the United States is concerned. It came out in 2015 um, and it was recently, uh, it recently became available at Bergdorf Goodman in in the USA. So I'm really excited to be talking about this on my channel. I'm actually going to be doing another video on this brand uh, in the future. So of course I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on the scents and how they smell and uh, what I think about them and a little bit more about the company as well. But this is strictly an unboxing slash first impressions video. Um, but I also want to give you guys a little bit of information on the brand. So the brand is called Orlove Paris and they're based out of Paris, France, as the name would imply. So 2015 brand new brand. Uh, the perfumer behind most of the compositions, if not all of the compositions, is uh, Dominique Ropion. And uh, Dominique Ropion has actually done a lot of other really popular fragrances. Of course, you're probably uh, uh, familiar with Invictus and Alien by Terry Mugler. Uh, he's also worked on Lum by Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de Lum, um, and a few other fragrances. Um, so I checked on Fragrantica and according to this brand, they have five fragrances available and two of them, they actually have a special edition version of them called the Elixir Edition. Now this brand's tagline is sharing a passion for perfumes and diamonds. And uh, when you buy their fragrances in the Elixir Edition, they actually come, uh, I think in like a leather case with a 0.25 carat certified diamond on them. So of course, you know, this brand speaks luxury. It's very high end. Um, their bottles are also very expensive too. So to my knowledge, there are only five fragrances that this brand carries. Um, I have never smelled any of them. So this is really me going into this blind. So I'm really excited to be doing this first impressions slash unboxing on my channel for you. So let's not spend any more time. Let's open this up and see what we have in here. <clears throat> so here's the packaging. And there it is, Oral Love Paris. And uh, as is indicated or suggested by the tagline, you have the nice little diamond here with the five parts. You have the table, the culet, the pavilion, the girdle. So let's open this up and see what's on the inside. So we have a nice little felt pouch here with a, a string. Yet another pouch and that's it. Nothing else in here. So let's see what's inside this little thing. So this is flame of gold. This appears to be, um, I think it's a bar of soap. Please pardon my ignorance. I'm not entirely sure what this is. Uh, it's scented, so I'm guessing it's a bar of soap. That's pretty cool. Okay, thank you very much for that. And here we have a couple of pouches in which are the samples of these fragrances. So let's just go ahead and open this one. This one has three samples in it. And uh, the samples are Star of the Season. This one is called Flame of Gold and Sea of Light. Now, of course, I've never smelled these before, so this is gonna be totally blind. Um, so let's just go ahead and start it off with Sea of Light. Now, I'm always very happy to discover new fragrances, um, especially with this brand after I heard the names and you know they're very creative, artistic, unique names and the perfumer behind them, it really intrigued me and it piqued my interest, so I'm excited to try this out. So let's try Sea of Light. Okay. Oh, I love this one. I really do love this one. Um, this to me would be a summer staple, honestly. Oh, it's so good. There's a fruity sweetness to it. I'm not entirely sure what note is in here. I get like an aquatic vibe. To me, it actually reminds me of Aqua Decima by Eau de Tali, where it kind of has like this mojito vibe. 
It's very bright, citrusy, minty, uplifting. Um, I get an aquatic vibe from it, but there's like a fruity component to it too. A little citrusy as well. Oh my God, and it smells incredibly natural. This one is really good. Um, I, I love this one. I think this is right up there with Zerjoff Neo, Zerjoff uh, 1861, Aqua Decima by Eau de Tali. This is absolutely amazing. Absolutely love this one. All right, so let's try uh, Flame of Gold now. Okay. Spray it a little farther up on my arm here. Wow, wow. Okay, it's a little bit of a sweeter scent. It actually, um, the first fragrance that comes to mind when I smell this is Beloved Man by Amouage. Kinda has like a resinous feel to it. I don't know if it's Elemi resin or if it's just like an amber accord, but it's a rather ambery scent. Hmm. I get a sweetness in the background too, which I'm guessing is either vanilla or tonka bean uh, with some woodsy notes in there as well. Oh man, this one is awesome. This one is absolutely amazing. Oh, so addictive, such an addictive smell. I'm very impressed, highly impressed. And the decants are rather nice too. So, and uh, this one is called Star of the Season. So let's try this on the back of my right hand. Okay. Star of the Season. Hmm. This one kind of reminds me of um, Havana Vanille by L'Artisan Parfumeur. It has that note in there that, as weird as it sounds, it's, I guess it's like a spiced vanilla, but it kind of reminds me of pumpkin. <laughs> it, it smells like something that Bertrand du Chafour would put out. It also smells like 1697 by Frappant. I think that's the number, uh, 1697. This one smells really good. It's a creamy, orangey, sweet, gourmand, spiced vanilla sort of a scent. It also reminds me of uh, Thierry Mugler. If you've ever smelled Oriental Vanilla, part of their like more private line, more high-end exclusive line, this one really reminds me of that. Yeah, this is a very close cousin to that. Awesome. Wow, what a, what a diversity, what a range, you know? All three of these smell very different from one another. We have one smelling like an aquatic fragrance. I, it is an aquatic fragrance, Sea of Light. And then we have another one which smells like a spiced vanilla. So I really like the, um, the diversity and the range of smells that you're gonna get from this line. And uh, in this one, we have two more. Uh, this one is called Cross of Asia. And this one is called I guess this is the uh, self-titled fragrance. This is just called Or Love. So let's just give this one a try, why not? Kind of running out of skin, but... Okay, cool. Okay. This one is a little bit more feminine. Um, it's a little bit sharper. It has a floral component to it. Um, kind of like a white floral component with a, a little bit of citrus in the opening. I, I think the sharpness might be coming from the musk. Um, overall it's nice, it, it has a sharp quality about it, but yet it has a smooth undertone to it, so it's kind of like a dic dichotomy. It's a little bit of a contrast, but nonetheless, I think it's a very unique scent. And you know what? As feminine as I say it smells, I would totally wear this. Yeah, this is a really nice one. I like this one. I think very fitting that they chose to make this one the self-titled scent. A little bit unusual, but um, I think it's a, a fantastic scent, so uh, I don't see why they wouldn't. 
And then we'll conclude with the last one, and this one is called Cross of Asia. So let me see if I have skin left over. Okay, I'm sure I could find skin somewhere. I'm gonna have to spray this on my on my bicep. All right, so this one is called Cross of Asia. Okay, <laughs> um, just as feminine, if not more feminine than or love. So this one, I don't know. This has a sharpness about it too. It has a. Um, it also has a floral smell to it, but it also has like this sort of. Hmm, exotic smell to it as well. Far more exotic than Orlov. I feel like Orlov might be a little bit more commonplace. This one is a little bit more exotic. It really stands out. Um, but at the same time, if I think hard enough, I'm pretty sure I can make a comparison to a fragrance that I've encountered in the past that bears resemblances or similarities to this one. But nonetheless, I think this is a really nice scent. Um, just quite personally, it, it, it's not something that I would wear, but I think for a woman, this is absolutely amazing. I mean, this is really nice. Oh, it, it, it's also musky, just like Orlov. It has a very high-end sort of regal executive quality about it like this is what i would imagine a businesswoman wear uh, a businesswoman wearing excuse me uh somebody who's very confident in her ways uh, a woman who's very sure of herself is not afraid to speak her mind very open minded very outspoken very extroverted uh this is amazing I personally like Orlov a little bit better. Um, I actually like the sharpness. I think it adds a unique layer to the composition. This one has that tropical slash exotic element to it, uh, which I do like, but both of these are equally floral and musky. So um, I guess this is you know, the reason for the segregation here. So we had the uh, women's fragrances in one pouch, the men's fragrances in the other pouch. But just to give you guys a quick rundown, um, Sea of Light, this one has an aquatic tinge to it. It has some citrusy components to it and a fruity backbone. Uh, the fruitiness is subtle, it's not overpowering, so it, it doesn't make it a novelty scent. It's highly wearable, absolutely amazing, very high quality composition, and the, you know, the notes smell so natural. Um, this is probably, <sighs> If I owned a full bottle of the scent, it would make my top five favorite summer fragrances of all time. That's how great this fragrance is. And I'm not speaking hyperbole when I say that. I sincerely mean it. Oh, God, this is really good. Okay, and uh, this one, Flame of Gold. Uh, this one, if I recall, was this resinous beloved man sort of a scent. Um, it actually does remind me a lot of Beloved Man by Amouage. I don't know if it's because of the LME resin of, or some sort of other amber accord that's utilized in here. Like I said, I get a little bit of sweetness in the background. I don't know if it's vanilla or labdanum or tonka bean. Uh, it's very well disguised, very well blended, absolutely amazing. And uh, the last one, Star of the Season. This one, kind of like a sweet, orangey um, sort of a scent. Again, really nice. My two favorites, however, are these two. Um, I'm just gonna stay away from these two for the time being because they are a little bit floral. This one does remind me a lot of like Vani um, Absolument by uh, Lord de Saint Parfumeur. It also reminds me a lot of um, the Thierry Mugler uh, Orient Vanilla uh, fragrance. I think that's what it's called. Um, these, on the other hand, are really unique. And um, I would love to own a bottle of both of these one day. So once again, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'm actually gonna be doing another video on all of these fragrances. I wanna get really into the background of the company, where they started, how long they've been around, how much their fragrances cost, the composition, where you can buy them, so on and so forth. And uh, that's gonna be featured in another video on my channel, but I definitely wanted to make this video for you guys to really introduce you to this brand, let you know what they're all about, let you know what they stand for, um, and what I think of them. And honestly, this is such a, 
what I really love about this line is how incredibly diverse it is. How you can go from fragrance to fragrance and they all smell distinctly different from one another. There is no redundant purchase here. None of them smell too akin to one another that it's not warranted uh, for you to purchase both. I think um, this brand, there is sufficient reason to own more than one. There's sufficient reason to own more than two or more than three. So I think this is really great band, brand, excuse me. I'm really looking forward to talking about them more on my channel. But I wanna conclude by saying thank you very much for tuning into my videos. I really do appreciate it. Uh, once again, if you've heard of this brand or if, or if you own or have tried any of these scents, please let me know what you think about them. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to rate and subscribe for future videos just like this one, top 10s, reviews, giveaways, so on and so forth forth. So once every, once again, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this has been Stephen with another video from Radolescence, and we'll see you soon.